Hello and welcome. In this short video, we're going to create a pivot table from many CSV files. My name's Jeff. I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. Here's the basic idea. We have um, exported a bunch of transactions from our accounting system, and there's one CSV file for each month. So at this point, we've got a January, February, and a March um, CSV file. And the idea is we want to combine all these values from all these different CSV files and summarize it with a pivot table. So what we're going to do is we're going to load this data into our data model using Power Query or Git and Transform Query. And then we're going to build a pivot table using the data model or Power Pivot as the data source. Sound radical? It is. Let's just jump right in. I'm going to go ahead and first go to Data, Get Data, From File, From Folder. And at this point now we can browse, or I've got the path here, so I'm just going to paste and then click OK. And this is going to cause Excel to give us a little preview. And since we want all of the files, we'll just go right to this Combine button. But if we wanted to filter out for, say, you know, removing PDF files or something like that, we could use Edit. But at this point, all the files are there that we want, so I'm going to click Combine and Combine and Load To. Okay. In this resulting dialog, we get a chance to uh, basically get a little preview of, of the data. And this looks fine, so we'll just click OK. And now Excel is going to ask us, hey, where do you want to send the query results? We could send it to a table if we wanted to see it, but we don't really need to see it because we're going to summarize it. So I'm going to go ahead and click Only Create Connection. And then this is the important part. We want to add this data to the data model. And then we click Load. All right, Excel does its thing. It grabs all those CSV files, combines them into a single results table, and there we have it. Um, here's the thing about this data, though. If we look at this data, we're going to notice that we have the account ID but no account name. We have the department ID but no department name. So before we can build a report that includes the account name and the department name, we need to uh, add a couple of lookup tables to the data model. So we're going to click on the Accounts tab. We have a little chart of accounts here. So we need to get this loaded into the data model too. How are we going to do that? Just click on Power Pivot, Add to Data Model. And now we have a second table. There it is, Accounts uh, loaded into the data model. Let's go back to Excel, and then let's do the same thing for Departments. We're going to get this Department list, Add to Data Model, and now we have it. Now before we can really use these tables, we need to show Excel how they're related to each other. So we're going to do that by clicking Diagram View, and now we're going to define the relationships. So the Account ID column is related here between the data files, data files and the accounts, so we just click and drag. Click and drag Account ID to Accounts, Account ID. Same thing with Department ID, click and drag to the Departments, Table, Department ID. Now we have these relationships. Now we can use them to build a pivot table summary. Let's go back to here and click on Insert Pivot Table. We want to use this workbook's data model as the source for our pivot table report. We click OK. Now we can define the report in any report shape we want, right? Using fields from any of these tables. Uh, maybe we want to show department name on rows. Maybe we want to show department name and then account name. And then we want to use amount from the data files. And that's fine. Or maybe we want, uh, you know, departments on columns. Or maybe we don't want the account name at all. Maybe we want department only. Or maybe we don't want department. Maybe we want account name. So we can, we can define whatever report structure um, that we're interested in. Maybe we have account name, and now maybe we want to throw dates into the columns layout area. So we click and drag, and now we have uh, monthly groups, and we save, we close, we move on with our life, and life is good. And then what about next period when we want to add April? All we need to do is grab the April extract, and I'm just going to paste it into our data files folder. Uh, and now the refresh each period simply becomes a quick data and refresh all. And if everything works, we should get a new April column. There it is. And we're done. All right. So, um, so this is a way to, to use Power Query or a Git and Transform Query to retrieve data 
use the data model to add some lookup tables, and then summarize it using a pivot table report that uses fields from all the different tables. All right. Hey, hopefully this helps. Thanks and have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.